I know we are already in. Oh, actually, it starts the whole entire recording. Okay, cool. Next time I will not allow that to happen. But nonetheless, you guys, it is Monday, November 13th, coming to you alive, coming to you excited, coming to you full of passion, and just coming to you just full of tremendous, tremendous things to be thankful for for this month and every single month. So you guys, I just want to thank you guys for the people that came to um, to business planning last week. I think that it's it's safe to say that um, you guys that were in that room really had like some clear direction. Listen, if you weren't in that room, I get it. You might've had other things going on, but here's what I think I'm going to do before Thanksgiving. And if it's something that you missed and you want to partake in, I'm willing to do another session. Now, it's not going to be four hours because it's a little bit different when it's on Zoom, but I'm thinking about doing one more for the people that maybe were not able to attend the live session. So if you're interested in attending the virtual session, if you can just give me emoji or drop something in the chat down below that you would like to attend that if I was to do it on Zoom, but I didn't want to promote that first and foremost. What I heard, and thank you, thank you, thank you, what I heard and what I experienced and what I realized is that there were so many people in that room that were just so focused, like so driven. You had top producers like Eric King. You had brand new agents in the room. You had people that weren't even on our team that were there doing the work and really developing their strategies for 2024. And you guys, this is something that's going to be echoed over the next couple of months because before you turn that, that calendar, I don't want you playing any type of catch up. I want you guys ready. I want you prepared. I want you clear. And I want everything to already be built into your calendar so you know what you're doing in 2024. You guys, this, this year is going to demand us to work a little bit harder. It's going to demand us to up the amount of activities, demand our reach, demand our visibility, our fame, all these things that we're going to continue to talk about. So if anything, if you could do anything for yourself and for your family in 2024, get all of this squared away. So when the Christmas time is here, when the holiday season is here, when you're doing some traveling, you're not scrambling. Like actually unpack this. And I was talking to George Martinez the other day. I want you to get mathematical with all of the things that you're doing. Get mathematical so you can put a number on your talents and say, hey, if I amplify the, amplify the things that I'm really, really good at based on these types of numbers, I should be able to have X amount of business in 2024. So I want you to get mathematical. And even if math is not your strong suit, it's okay. You're running a business, so it should become one of your strong suits. So I want to thank everybody that was there. If you guys are down to do another session, I'm going to put that on before Thanksgiving. I don't care if it's one person. I don't care if it's 100 people. We'll go full tilt, and I'll make sure that you pull out the best out of that session and that you have a plan for 2024. That is my commitment to each of you. So let's go to somebody to have them bring us out on the field. But before we do so, we have a couple of guests on the line today. If you're a guest for the first time, just give me one of these. You don't have to say anything. Just give me a quick... There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And thank you for being present. Um, if I was to go to Ashley, Ashley G, if someone is a guest on this and or sees this in the future, what can a guest expect from this environment? Good morning. Um, you can expect inspiration, motivation, authenticity, and just a group that is all grinding in the same direction. I love it. I love it. And that will serve as you taking us out on the field today. So, um, Ashley, thank you for being here. I'm glad that you are healthy. I'm glad that you are feeling well. And um, I really, really appreciate it. So, you guys, I'm going to share something with you. I don't know if I could pull up the video, but it reminded me all of you guys this morning. And you guys know I'm a music junkie. I love music. I love diving into the music. I love reading what's on the inside of records. If you guys collect any type of records, old school records have like all the lyrics. Some of them had poems. Some of them had like these cool pictures of them performing. Just all this great stuff. And so I'm always looking. Well, I saw this video yesterday and it's just John Muir. And John Muir is like, he's jamming. And he's like, it's one thing to just sit there and jam. He's like, it's another thing to like articulate what I'm actually feeling in that moment, whether it is Otis on the treadmill, whether it is drinking coffee, whether it is you were just looking out the window, you see it's a beautiful day. Like, here's the thing. And it made me think about you guys. Oftentimes we're scrolling, we're scrolling, we're scrolling, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. The, the thing is like when you find an idea, just literally hit record and then start recording something until something hits. It's like now I found a groove, I found a rhythm, I found something that I can actually put out to the public. 
And you guys, you guys got to jam. I don't want to encourage everybody on the screen to jam. And if you're not creating video, like find a, a reason and a way to jam, meaning just put the camera on, find something that you've read about, something that you saw a video about, something that you heard, um, an Inman article, whatever it is, and say, how can I jam with this, right? How can I take this and make this a hook, right? I'm dropping a video this week and the video starts out like this. And I said this in business planning last week. How many of you have ever been in a shitty relationship? And so many people raised their hand. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Let's just do this for the sake of the conversation. How many of you have ever been in a shitty relationship? Raise your hand. How many of you are currently in a shitty relationship? And then some people are like, wait, wait a minute, you got me. But here's the thing. Like I heard something and I thought about it. I'm like, let me just jam out with that. So I just sat in the booth the other day and I said, let me say these lines until something comes out that flows, right? So what I wanna encourage everybody to do is just jam. Put your camera on, find a topic of something that you could actually spit some game about and then figure it out. And what you'll find is like, wow, now I'm jamming, now I'm in a rhythm. Now I got my first 10, 20 seconds down and I have the body down because here's how I look at creating video. Now I'm not gonna go too far on this tangent. I just wanted to share this thought with you. When you think about video, you got to think about it as like writing an essay. How many people write, remember writing essays in college or in high school, right? You would have your, your thesis statement. You would have the body that explains everything about your thesis statement. And then you'd have your closing, right? You'd have your, your conclusion, right? It's the same exact formula when creating video, thinking about your content. So all I want you guys to do is find something to jam out about. And when you put the camera on, you'll find that it's like, okay, cool. I'm going to jam through this. And listen, sometimes it will take you 10 tries, 20 tries, 30 tries. Sometimes you'll get it down in the first couple. But here's the thing, you guys. I want to encourage everybody just to pick up your instrument, in this case, the phone, and start recording and jamming out. So that's my thoughts and that's my sentiment. And I'll share that video with you guys in just a couple of minutes so you can see it. But I did want to go over to Armanis. Armanis, homegirl, if I can't just steal you for a minute, if, if you're cool with this. Um, so Armanis. You had some, obviously, some some fear. I, I think that that doubt is easy to creep in, especially when you're throwing an event. Are people going to come? Are people going to show up? Are people going to get engaged? Are people, um, you know, going to like the content, right? And I think that those are all natural things that we go through, if, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. You filled the room because leaders know how to move people, right? Leaders know how to move people. And I think that you demonstrated, A, that you're a leader, but B, more importantly, as I think what Armanis did is she thinks about her cause, her purpose, her crusade, her mission, and why she's in this business. And it's to help and it's to help serve. And what she did is she was able to amplify that. So Armanis, very quick, briefly, I would love to come to you and, and hear from Dominique because she's like the conversation went in a completely different way and the cause of the purpose and all aligned. So Armanis, tell us first off about some of those emotions that you went through up until and then what happened and what was the beauty that was created from that event, if you wouldn't mind sharing, please. First off, go ahead. Oh, yes. And thank you so much, Elias, because I have to give you the really amazing tools that you gave me. I just wanted to give you the appreciation for that. Um, because all of the emotions that I went through, I allowed myself to go through them because at the end of the day, I had that motivation knowing that I could get it done. But I was scared, excuse me, but scared shitless. Okay, it was, I'm a new agent, you know, not even a year in yet. And I just wanted to make sure I touched people. And I did that. I got through it. I prayed about it and rocked it out. So yeah, I love that. And 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 when you say you were scared, obviously you're you're a new agent. Like, like tell us a little bit about that conversation and how you were able to pull yourself not only from from fear to action. Like tell us about that. Because I, I think there's an important message there. Knowing my purpose. Knowing what it's bigger than me. We sat here in a keep it moving, and I cannot remember what his name was, but he said that if your success only makes you successful, it's not worth anything. But Ooh. I knew this event was going to change the lives of so many people. I opened my event asking, how many of you never thought home ownership was possible? Hands went up. I closed out my event asking, how many of you are excited to start your home ownership journey? Hands went back up because wow. I changed the emotions in the room. I watched one woman come to tears because I said, sis, you can do it. 
it you know you just gotta know your people know your crowd i'm a homegirl for a reason so you know you just gotta know your purpose you guys I, I have chills right now and i tell you that's that's how much of an emotional creature that i am is that when something hits it instantly gives me gives me goosebumps and and here's why because I, I've said this and I'll say this time and time again, when you are truly, truly in your purpose, when you are facing the phone calls, the videos, the emails, the text message, the knocking on the doors, the open house, all the things that you're going to do in this, holding an event, every single thing that you're going to do in this business, if you are truly aligned with that cause, that purpose, that mission, it's okay. It makes all of those things okay because my intent is to serve, right? And if I'm doing that at the highest level and I hold that in the highest regard, yeah, it's a little fearful at first, but that's what's the driving force. It's not the money, right? The money will come as a byproduct of service. And so, Armanis, I absolutely love this message. So, Dominique, from your vantage point, you said the conversation went in a completely different way that maybe you didn't expect. So, talk to us about from your vantage point. And listen, before we, before we go on, Let's give flowers to Armanis because I feel she's completely deserving of getting some flowers. So you guys give her some love, give her some reactions on the screen, give her some emojis, all the good stuff. All right, Dominique, let's go over to you. Armanis did so good. Like, I mean, and her support, her mom and her dad were here and they are just amazing people. And I can see where she gets her um, her drive and her passion from. Um, her parents are amazing people. So I just wanted to say that. Um, so the converse, the the conversation was about the program as well as um, helping them get into a home and, and have a lender here available. But the converse, but the conversation shifted to um, them saying that they need more people that they can identify with and trust. And we know that our communities are underserved a lot. And so uh, when Armanis reached out to me and told me that um, what this was about, I had no hesitation with saying yes, because that has been my purpose, but even more so from the situation I went through about two and a half years ago. So given that I had the opportunity to have my feet on the ground with the people in the community was probably the most touching thing because you can feel their their passion. And there was one woman that expressed to Armini that she has an agent that she's been trying to find a house, I think for the last four months. And it just hasn't gone anywhere with the lender or the agent. And she's ready, willing and able, but she's not getting what she deserves. She's not getting the type of treatment that somebody else would be getting. And so to hear somebody speak that and then say, I love seeing you guys here. I love seeing um, people that I connect with. That meant a lot because the purpose that Armenis has is the same purpose that I have that drew it way stronger from like, you know, I've, I've always had that, that passion with my community, but even more so within the last couple of years. Beautiful, beautiful. I absolutely love it. And, 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 you know, flowers to you as well. And absolutely love it. I would love to hear, you know, on, a, on another call or off this call, I mean, it's like, what's the follow-up plan? Who's getting what now? Are they getting videos? Like, how are they going to constantly be in your ecosystem? Are they now in your newsletter? Is there a follow-up to this? And so, so many great things that can come from this. And this is going to be a long play. And the fact that you're there, when I think about you, Armanis, and I think about everyone on this call, think about yourself this way. Someone told me once early in my real estate career that we are the great emancipators of the dream. I remember that. We're the great emancipators of the dream. You, at times, have to give people hope. You have to provide a pathway. You have to show them the programs, the opportunities, what happens in certain census tracts, like all these things. You get to be the light for them. That's why I love being part of the president part of the process from the, from day one, not, Oh, Hey, I'm going to send you over to my lender to get pre-approved and then let me know when that happens. No, I'm going to be a part of this journey with you. I'm going to hold your hand. I'm going to advocate for you. I'm going to educate for you. So once again, congratulations to you ladies. Con uh, congratulations on a successful event. And I'm going to share my screen right now. So I had some thoughts. So I put together some thoughts today. Obviously, you know, I don't like to do too many um, screen grabs or too many, um, uh, 
slides, but I'm going to share some, a few things with you guys. Stop being afraid of what could go wrong and start getting excited about what could go right. And that's a quote from Tony Robbins. And I thought about you, Armanis, and I thought about Katie on this call. Right? So oftentimes, we, we paralyze ourselves in the thought, right? If I was to ask you guys, how many of you thought about launching a video last week, and then it just sat in your phone and you didn't actually do it? What happened is that we were afraid. We we're afraid of, oh my God, will this hit? Will people like it? Are they going to see me? And oh my God, no, I'm just not going to do it, right? Or I'm not going to knock on the doors. I'm not going to do this. Or I'm not going to host an event, right? Because I'm, I'm crippled by the fear, right? In 2024, you guys, the fear cannot slow you down because there's going to be people like an Armonese, like a Dominique, like an Otis, and whoever else you're like an Ashley. And I say, you know what? Despite how I feel, Despite how I feel and despite how scared I am, I'm still going to do it because I'm so excited about what could go right. How many people's lives could I touch? Am I going to allow myself to be stopped because I have 30 minutes of fear and that's going to stop me from helping 30 people change their lives and impact their families and impact those kids and generations? No, I'm not. So you guys, you guys have to think about this in a, in, in, a, in, in a very linear way. I saw this and I was like, God, this really, really coincides perfectly to what we do. And I'll share with you guys. I had to do business planning last week. And that was three, four-hour sessions back to back to back. You know me. I like to talk. You, <laughs> yeah, I like to be in front of you guys. But... So much fear, so much fear is like, is this going, can I flow for four hours? Am I going to hit points? Are, are they going to write notes? Like all these things, you guys. But if my, if my why and my purpose is to say, how can I help them? How can I impact their lives? Then I can't allow that to hold me back. And so you guys, I experienced this myself and I know that you guys do. So I want to share some things with you guys. Obviously, we're talking about moving the needle. And I was thinking about these three letters, RRV this week, RRV, RRV. And I kept on going over it over and over and over in my head. And I want to share this with you guys to get some thoughts and get some um, some ideas going for the morning. Feel free to take some screenshots of this. Feel free to post this on social, whatever you want to do. But Mondays are about moving the needle. What can I do today? What can I do this week to move my needle forward. We've talked about all the campaigns, all the things that you should be doing. This is thankful month. This is Thanksgiving. This is going into Christmas, all of the things you guys. So what are you going to do today? That's going to move your business forward. And let's talk about this. So be real. Your superpower is your ability to be your true authentic self. No confines, no conforming. The moment you step away from what is tr what truly defines you and represents you as a person is the moment you feel stuck. You will find yourself searching for creativity. Being real is a priceless commodity. This is the one thing that no matter who is on this call today has the ability to do. But what happens is that we try to do things the way that we believe other people think that we should show up or we should act in a way that we believe other other people think that we should show up. And the moment we do that, the moment we do that, we allow ourselves to be inauthentic to the person that we truly are. And that hurts you. That hurts your brand. That hurts your identity. That hurts your cause. That hurts your purpose. And so the one superpower that every single person on this call has is being real. And that means being real with your opinions, being real with your thoughts. And if people don't like it, it's okay because they're not all supposed to like it and they're not all supposed to like you. So you have to think about this. Am I getting stuck? Do I find myself just against the wall? Because when you're being real and you're thinking about the things that really light you up and the things that you really you know, care about and your opinions and your vantage point of the world, whatever's going on, like that's yours. You know, it might be similar to someone else's opinion or it might feel like someone else's, but at the end of the day, there is only one Romel Teller. There's only one of him, right? There's only one him. So I want you guys to just, first off, the first R is just be real, be relevant. And when I think about this, you guys, I really want you guys to unpack this. How relevant are you in the market right now? And in the industry, right? How are you staying educated and informed? How much reading time are you clocking each week? If you were to go back in your calendar last week and be like, man, I read these 10 articles. I logged X amount of hours. I read X amount of pages. Like, what did I actually do last week? Because the more that I'm reading, the more that I'm, I'm in these masterminds, the more that I'm showing up to these calls, the more that I'm going to these sessions that I saw advertised on, on social media, like 
that's how you're going to stay relevant because what we're doing is we're being a part of what's actually happening in our real estate community versus sleeping on it. We're never uh, relevant. We're never present. And we're, we're finding that this business is moving way too fast for us. How many local events are you attending? How many national events are you going to? If you're planning out the year in 2023 or 2024, what's that actually look like? How many events do you plan to attend in 2024? What's happening in your community? What's happening at the national level? Like, where are you going in 2024 to keep yourself relevant? What makes you relevant, right? Think about that. What makes you relevant? Is it the tech that you're using? Is it the techniques that you're using? Is it your future forward thinking? Is it how you get people to take action despite any type of fear or any type of trepidation? Is it the relationships? Are you leveraging the amazing relationships that you have created in the real estate community to help you get transparent information from listing agents so you can get the best information and bring it back for your buyers? Are you leveraging that? Are you leveraging and becoming relevant because of your community involvement, involvement? Are you a local celebrity because you simply just attend? You go to everything. You shake hands. You meet people. You get them on your Instagram. You take pictures with them. You tag them. You get involved in the local happenings. Like, how relevant are you? You guys, I want to encourage you guys to really dive into that. I'm not just saying go to every single real estate conference. I'm saying be relevant in your community. Re be relevant in causes that speak to you. Be relevant to, to speak or be relevant in the, in the activities and the new businesses that are coming into your area. This is how you're going to stand out. So ask yourself, what makes you relevant right now? And do, and do you even think that you're relevant? Do you think that you're relevant right now? And I want that to like soak in for a second. I'm like, man, am I relevant? And, and the last part of this is the V. It's be visible. Let's just go through this really quick, you guys. How many videos will you drop this week? So maybe that number's three. Maybe that number's two. Maybe that number's 10 videos this week that you'll drop. How many videos did you drop last week? right? You guys all have these thoughts. You attended business planning, uh, you know, a vast majority of you attended business planning, all these things, right? How many videos have you dropped so far in 2023? Can you quantify that? Right? Can you get mathematical with it? If you have been in this business the entire year and you have not, you've posted less than, let's say 50 videos, you're missing a huge opportunity to grow your business and to build your brand. How many videos will you create in 2024? And I'll walk you through some of this in just a moment. You have the power to own your visibility and own your fame. The more visible you are, the more trust you build, the more trust you build, the more people are likely to choose you. Because if I can see Armanis, if I could see Romel, if I could see Rakitha, if I could see Jake, if I could see Sierra, and I see them all the time, and I'm constantly getting information from them that is valuable, then what happens is that I'm automatically drawn to that person and I feel like I know that person based on their behaviors on social media. So imagine this for a moment, and we we broke this down in, in um in business planning. Imagine for the next year, you created five reels a week, right? And if we did five reels a week, your annual total would be 260 reels that you created for the entire year. Say you did 10 stories a day, that is seven days a week, that is 300 or 3,640 stories. And then you sent five DMs a day, that is 1,820 DMs for the entire year. Is it safe to say that you would get some level of engagement from that amount of content by sticking to that schedule, by sticking to that flow, by sticking to that rhythm, by sticking to that cadence? So what type of visibility have you created by your, for yourself by then? How many people are have been able to experience your brand, right? They've seen your face. They've seen your stories. Now they're invested, right? Now they're invested. That's why you go and have a life event. And people are like, oh my God, I saw what you went through with your daughter last year. I saw what you went through um, with this, or I saw that you went to Bali, or I saw that you got married in the jungle, all these things like I don't even know some of these people, but they know because they're invested in the story. But if I was a was a one hit wonder and I created a video 30 days ago and I didn't do anything to back it up, guess what? I'm not on people's mind anymore. They're going to find someone else new to go and follow. So you guys, how many people 
have been able to experience you and your brand. And I think about this and I'm always constantly thinking about you guys. So if you could just stick to this cadence right now or in the new year, think about how, how much you've grown. Think about your skill level. Think about how great you've gotten on video, how confident that you've become that at any given time, you're like, what's up, you guys? Hey, it's Armin. I want to share with you guys some thoughts from an article that I saw this morning. Let's go. Right. You have so much confidence because you have created a body of work. Stop fucking telling me that you're not good on video and you're not good in this when you have zero, zero, not saying zero complete zero. I'm saying, but you have a very minimal body of work for you to be able to say, not good. You have to continue to push, continue to put stuff out there in order for you to see what's working and what's not working. You guys, there's 2 million plus realtors in the United States of America, and this number is going to change in 2024. How are you going to stand out? How are you going to be the one that's different? How are you going to be the person that people remember? How are you going to be the one that comes up in conversations because of how visible you are and what you've created, what you've done? You've sent your newsletter out every single week for the entire year. And how many people have seen that? You go through a weekly cadence of following up with all of your leads consistently every single week. You create a video a minimum once a day. You're constantly in your stories. You're sliding in DMs. You're at events. You're doing all the things. You're talking to the community. You're having these interviews. You're going to the local spots. You're networking. You're having fun. You're traveling. You're going out to these events. And you're doing all these things because you want to make sure that you are relevant. You're being real. You're being yourself. And you are visible, right? You guys, if I can give you any thoughts for the morning, this cadence, these things right here, being real, being relevant, and being visible in 2024 are going to matter more than they've ever mattered. And you guys, I'm excited. But I'm also, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I know that some people are, are still challenged with this. So, it's my responsibility. It's my responsibility as a director of sales and coaching to see the optimal you, even if it's hard for you to see the optimal you. That's 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 my responsibility. That's on my shoulders. So I'm here to support you guys, push you guys. And so I wanted to turn the mic over to you guys. Based on what was shared right now, or anything that Armini said, or anything that Dominique shared, anybody have any thoughts, any sentiment, anything that they want to contribute to this conversation, please do so. Throw your hand up, or I'll just call on a couple people. If I don't get any hands up, let's do this. Let's go blessing. Blessing always has something to provide. Let's go blessing. Let's go Patrick. Patrick, good to see you, my man. Uh, and let's go around the room. Let's have some conversation on this. Blessing, where's your thoughts at? You know, I... I always appreciate this particular conversation because it always holds a mirror up to me. And this is something to be very honest that I've been struggling with as far as being visible um, and being relevant um, when it comes to the market. And that is something that I've held as a big fear, but even going through intensity made me realize that it is really, it is, it just takes focus and a clear plan to get over the fears. You can let the emotions drive you for as long as you want to, but if you really want to succeed in what I'm doing now um, is really creating a very strong plan. So there's no room for fear to step in and using the numbers, like they break down super simple. It just takes planning. So the visibility part of it is something that, um, I struggle with, but I, I, I'm committing to in 2024 to take my business to a next level with just this part of it, because it is something that is, it's, it's overcoming a fear for me. I love it. And I appreciate that. Cause here's the thing, you guys, once again, going back to this, getting mathematical with it. The reason I'm getting mathematical about it is because if I can get mathematical on it, now I can see, well, on an average, or, or, you know, like how many people are actually going to see my brand, my identity, right? Who, how many people are going to see me? And if I add those numbers up, I go back to the screen. That's a lot of new faces that get to see me. And that's a lot of people that are constantly in my world, right? It's like, imagine Kenny not posting on his stories for, let's say, 30 days, right? Like it's, it's, it's ludicrous to even think of Kenny not living in his stories for, for 30 days. We would think something was wrong, right? Exactly. I would think, I would worry, right? Is Kenny okay? What's going on? We're, because we're so invested. And we also, we rely on that information because probably something in that is going to spark a nerve and or something in it is going to be, hmm, 
That's something I could actually use. That's really good information. Thanks, Kenny. Or he's going to make us laugh, right? And so it's like, you think about it in a way like, are people looking at me the same way? Are they tuning into my daily sitcom? So blessing, every time you speak, every time you're in rooms, every time people are around you, they're constantly getting value from you. So I believe that you are relevant. And now what we do is we amplify that voice and we go all in in 2024. So I appreciate your sentiment. Thank you for always being, you know, super vulnerable and super transparent. Let's go to me and let's go to you, big dog. And then we'll go to Patrick. Um, I didn't forget about you. Sorry, I just saw the hand go up. So I'll go to Patrick yeah. and work around the room. Go. No, um, just on the uh, the topic of being relevant, um, just wanted to reiterate what I had talked to Julie about one day in the office. She said, go line by line in the RPA and post content about that. And it is relevant to your, excuse me, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in the gym, so I'm a little out of breath. But um, it is relevant to your community. Like a lot of these people don't know the what's in the RPA, what steps are in home buy, in the home buying process. So you are the one that is relevant to them in bringing across that information. So I just wanted to add that in there, you know, uh, responding to blessing. Like you are the relevant um, professional. You're, you're the advocate for these people in the real estate world. So that makes you relevant. Mm, I absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. Because here's the thing, you guys, there's so many things that a buyer needs to know in 2024 before they know need to know it. What I mean by that is that in 2024, we're going to get analyzed differently. We're going to get scrutinized differently. And people are going to look at your social media probably more than they are now to see what kind of information can I get from this person that shows me what type of person that I'm working for or working with, right? So if you guys, hey, Hey, I just created an entire breakdown of the residential purchase agreement. So you as a consumer know line by line what's actually in that. DM me the word, uh, you know, whatever in order to get that. Right. Hey, guys, I made a list of all the things that I'm doing for my consumers and how I get an offer accepted in this competitive landscape. There is a 10 point check mark that I do in order to get an offer accepted. And I created that and I'm going to make some videos on it. So let's tap in over the next couple of days. Cool. What is that video, Romo? Hey, guys, here's the first thing that I do with the consumer as soon as we start working together. Here's what we do when they say they want to write an offer. Here's how we review comps. Here's how we review reports. Here's how we review disclosures. What are disclosures like? all these things, you guys, and make that visible and illustrate that at a very high level. So to me, and I appreciate you saying that. Patrick, let's go to you, big dog. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for going on or coming on. I, hopefully your door knocking went well on Friday, but let's hear from you, my man. What's your thoughts? What's your sentiment on the conversation? Hey, I appreciate it, my man. And and good to see you in, in the flesh, finally, right? After a couple months. But That's right, bro. To, good uh, to see you. Yeah, yeah. But going back to what you said about being mathematical, something that I realized recently is the fact that in order for us to success, we really got to build systems for ourselves. It's a business, right? So it's kind of impossible to create a good system without being mathematical. So I really appreciate that. It's kind of like a reminder for me, you know, and also regarding, um, you know, the being real, being uh, relevant, being visible, you know, it, it definitely works. I mean, I've only been in the game for three and a half months, but, you know, I've been I went crazy on the content game and you know, I'm looking to kind of reboot that. But going back to that, you know, a lot of I got a lot of clients from that. You know, I'm working with six, seven um, people right now. My first listing saw my Instagram video and it was all like, yo, it's popping. Like I've learned a lot, you know, and and uh, it breaks that that trust barrier, which is really, really, really hard to break down, you know. So, yeah. All right. so, so, so first off, back, up, back us up one more time through the numbers. How long yeah. have you been in the game months wise? Like three and a half, maybe short of that. Three and a half months, you have how many active buyers right now? So I'm working with five right now. Five buyers. How many contracts have you put on the board? Uh, contracts, I have three that's ratified right now. Three ratified contracts. All right, stay with me. And then uh, you have a new listing, right? Yep, yep. Got a new listing as well. And then what would you attribute most of the success in an early, early um you know, early phase, what would you owe a lot of the success to? Obviously your drive. Yeah. Uh, you're, you work really, really hard and let's never discount that. But what else? What's working? I think, I think being real and being visible is what really um got me going. Um, first, I attended a lot of networking events, you know, introduced myself. 
and also at the same time posted at least at least five videos a week and instagram are real random stuff and also when i meet the people I, I keep it real like you know what hey i'm a realtor but also i'm here to manage your expectations you know i know you want this house this blah blah you this badge this budget but i'm here to manage that you know like this is how much you're making so maybe let's look it over here you know all that stuff so keeping it real keeping 100 and and also like just moving back to why did you why did you go in this game why did you go in this industry like why are you doing this you know and if it's just about money then you know go ahead but you might you might get you might get dusted by the, some people that have authentic feelings about this you know so wow i absolutely love it man and congratulations to you on all the success and everyone else that's contributing on the call but look at this you guys he, he's new right and so when you think about like the 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 page has a feel it has a flow he's obviously a veteran so he can help people he understands that um you know different down payment assistance programs so it's like he he wasn't this creator until he came into this field and now he's become a creator and listen you guys this is just brand new so when you're thinking about like well where do i start just start right and like the things will start to come along for you and you'll start to get better at this but this is this is new right so it's like i hopefully this can lead to to some inspiration for people on the call so patrick mad love and respect for what you're doing man love it thank you thank all right you, let's go you. let's go to uh let's go to brandy and then let's go over to dominique brandy what's good let's, what's on your mind let's hear from you um well, i think on the topic of relevance is uh for me it holds yourself accountable um and i think um, this is huge because I was just I met the Jessicas over the weekend when they hosted their open house. I went and surprised. Okay, here's the, here's the funny thing about that. They tagged me in something, and like I heard her say the Jessicas, and I was like hashtag the Jessicas. I hope I hope they run with this because <laughs> you just said it. I hope I hope this becomes a thing. But go on, sorry, Brandy. Yeah, no, it, that's funny because I when I walked in, I was like, wait, I realized both your names are Jessica. <laughs> so um, but yeah, so. Um, I was telling them that as far as like content and stuff like that, that uh, for me, um, I'll post even like what would be the stupidest thing to some to someone else is really big for me. And if I question it, if I question how relevant that is, I would be letting everyone talk me out of anything and it will diminish my space and mm. not only starting real estate, but and just in life in general, if we, you know, play that game. So I will post something and I'll go, look, I'm posting it because there's someone out there be accountable that they're going to say, oh, she baked cookies or said she was going to bake cookies. Hey, did you bake those cookies? Or, you know, she said she was going to go to this open house. Um, you know, I wonder if she went. Like, I know there's always somebody that comes up a week two weeks or even like a month later that's like hey I remember you posted this and I'm like oh yeah so I know if I post it I'm not gonna just say like hey I'm gonna do this it's just take the action and do it put it out there um mm -hmm. and you know my theme for my family right now just because we're going through so much um is taking up space I'm like we are gonna just take up all this space everywhere we go in anything um that we're getting involved in we're just going to take up this space and if somebody doesn't like it they could walk out the door like and that's being that's being real that's just i think that's just wow. so important i love this this i just wrote it down hashtag take it take up space everything for me could have a hashtag but um uh, i absolutely love this brandy because at the end of the day it, you have to ask yourself is this real is this authentic to who i am then cool, then I'm going to do that. And instead of trying to reach for creativity, having writer's block, if you ever experience writer's block, or if you ever experience lack of creativity, it's because you're trying to do things that are unauthentic, right? Because I think that you're pretty cool. Each of you are pretty cool. Some of the real estate shit, that's boring. That's just boring. But you as a person, you're pretty damn cool. I like you. You're in my world. You're pretty damn cool. The real estate stuff can just drown people out. And so, Brandy, I love it. This hashtag, let's take up space. How many, how many people in your family? Uh, in my little family, yeah, in your little I, family. I, have, I have five kids. Yeah, they take up I, a lot of space. I take up space. <laughs> I literally take up space. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Dominique, let's hear from you. And then uh, I got I got another question for everybody. Dominique, let's hear from you. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you. 
Okay. Well, first of all, all I do is post real estate, Elias. So I'm pretty damn boring, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here's what I know. Okay. I know this. Your brother is an MC, right? Your brother's got an amazing cadence. You love your nieces. You love your family. You just went to the city or I don't know where you were. You had this amazing dinner, right? How do I know that? That's not real estate <laughs> shit. Right? Yeah. How many people knew that she went and had a dope dinner? How many people know that she used to own a boutique? How many people know that she is a fashionista? How many people know, like, how many people? That's not real estate. And I know all that because I haven't been with you at all these places. I see that through your story. So that's my that's my vantage point. Well, well all my reels are real estate. I love it. <laughs> but no, I did go to dinner because I might as well just share it. My brother is being signed to Nas's label, Mass Appeal. And so he's going out to, L well, he's in LA now. He's going to sign tomorrow. So we got together as a little family to to celebrate him and we are excited because the journey has been crazy um but yeah so i'm just i'm i'm that's my little breath but anyway um talking about relevancy um it's crazy because i don't know who just spoke but she talked about filling up space and what i always tell my daughter she's seven gonna be eight i always tell her why not you why not you because i've got into the mode where i was telling myself why not me why not us? And when I say us, I talk about the black and brown community. Why not? Right. And so I have a very vision because I knew when I filed my lawsuit that I would need to probably go off on my own and leave the job that I had as a staff appraiser. Doing that, I was lost about where I would get my work from. How would I get my work? How would I start my own appraisal business? I had no idea. But given that I told myself, why not me? And giving myself that space, I just got the um, Instagram does the achievement stuff now. They told me I did 100 reels this year so far. Um, I, that's like amazing for me because I, I went into this not knowing. But what did that do? It's like a, it's like a, uh, it's crazy because I'm doing these reels, but not only am I getting people to notice me as a realtor, but my private appraisal business took off. And when I see people like I, we just went to the caravan tour, uh, I think it was Cynthia. She was like, I just showed my husband your ADU video. And he was like, wow. And then I seen somebody else. Like, oh, I see your videos. Oh my God. They're so good. I like seeing you. And so the, the, the relevancy of it is people telling me they want me to, you know, keep talking about the ADU situation because they're really interested and now they really want to know. And um, are people coming to me now for real estate business? But uh, I've made a community of realtors that give me private appraisal business. So doing that and making my space relevant and telling myself why not me gave me the confidence to do the videos and put them out there. Do I know how many views they're going to get when I put it out there? No. Do I sometimes do I wonder if people are going to follow me because I talk too much and all my reels are probably a minute long and not 20 seconds? Uh, yeah, I think that I think that maybe I talk too much, but people tend to grasp it and it makes me feel good to get all the feedback that I do off of it. Guys, I, I want you to write that down. Like, why not me? Right? Why not me? There's people that are in our circles that <clears throat> are making millions of dollars, right? Millions of dollars. And they're living half their life in, in you know, like uh, Puerto Rico, whatever the case is. But like, why not you? Like, why not you? Why, why aren't you able to do that for yourself? Like, you're worthy of that. You, you deserve that. Your family deserves that. And like, that's going to demand you, like, like, like Dominique said, just being able to push fast past the fears and saying, you know what? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on a, I'm a woman on a mission. I'm a man on a mission. I'm a purpose. I'm a man of purpose. I'm a woman of purpose. And I shared this example with you guys the other day, and I want to do it again, because I think it's really, really one of the best things that I've ever learned. We always talk about, I think action has been the word for the year, but when you think about action and, and that being all encompassing, that starts there. So uh, if you were in business planning the other day, you saw this. So you start with action, no matter what it is, the videos, the emails, the MailChimp, the, you know, follow up boss, whatever that is, the action gives you now what? 
gives you a little bit of experience, right? The good, bad, and the ugly. It gives you the experience. From that experience, what do you receive? You receive some feedback, right? Like, what? how well did I do? Did they like my video? Did anybody comment on my video? Did they save my video? Did they share my video? Did they have a communication with me at an open house? Did they slam the door on my face? Like, did people open up my emails? Do I have a 10% open right rate? Do I have a 40% open rate? Like, it gives you that feedback. Now, based on that feedback, it will tell you the skills that you need to improve upon. Now you go to work, right? But when you never do the action, you never have the experience, you never give yourself feedback, you never have the necessary skills that you need to improve upon. So when you think about this game, you guys, I'm not just crazy to say you need to go out there and take action. No, you need it to analyze yourself and how well that you're performing in this business, right? How do I know? How do you know? Well, you did enough of it to say, gosh, I probably need to change some things up, right? If you're not recording your phone calls right now and follow up boss or just from your phone or whatever way that you record your calls, how are you actually getting better on your dialogue with the consumer? How do you know? If you're not creating videos and you're saying, oh, I'm just not that good on video, who says you're not good on video? Has the masses said that you're not good on video or are you just in your own head saying, oh, I'm not good on video. You need to get over that shit and dismantle that belief dismantle that belief because you have no data. You have no data. And that that is one of the things that irks me was when someone says, oh, yeah, I'm not good at that. How much have you done that? Oh, I've done it a little bit. Well, then you don't have that right. You don't have enough data. You don't have a body of work to say it's good, bad, or anything else. So Dominique, man, I appreciate this so much. So let's do this. Do a quick rapid fire session and we'll go to three people really quick and I'll ask them, what do you need to do to move your needle this week starting with ashley ashley it's monday morning you're clear you've done your goals you 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 have intent what do you need to do this week to move your needle go good morning so um visible is really what stood out to me i did three reels last week my goal was to do five i did five the week before so i need to stretch and make sure i hit five this week and then i noticed that i am not as visible in my local community so i'm going to mm. start planning things to become more visible and actively um, participate in community events inside the community as well i, I love this so <laughs> ashley i I don't, I don't remember a time meeting you prior to our, you know, partnership and you guys being a part of our world. Did I know you before this? No. <laughs> I think of you like you're, you're in my world, you're visible. Like you're super, super visible because I always see you, right? right. Like I, 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 like I always see Ashley, she pops up and stuff, um, you know, all the time for me. And so what's cool about this is that it seems like this year has been a year that you've truly, truly leaned into your content creation. Is that a fair, fair to say, or? Yes. Um, up until this year, I was in a close knit group of real estate agents and we just kind of did our thing. And I was doing a lot of, um, Instagram videos, but I was very kind of sheltered in this little group. And now I have expanded, um, and I'm trying to become more of a presence everywhere and, kind of get out of push my comfort zone a little bit more. Yeah, well, it seems like you're super, super comfortable being very uncomfortable, like your visibility has heightened since I've known you. It's been really cool to be in your circle. So um, good stuff. I love that. Aaron, Chris, what's going to move your needle this this week? It's Monday morning. You should be clear on this answer. What's going to move your needle this week? Let's go. I'm um, follow up, following up with the people I spoke with this weekend, uh, following up with the people I spoke with last week, having um, some conversations with buyers that I'm working with that are kind of on the fence and, and, you know, letting them know, Hey, look, this is the time to act, or this is the time to sit on the sidelines, but kind of getting that squared away. So a lot of it is follow up and and taking care of that thing. Um, and so that's, that's what I'm focused on is that. And, and Aaron, I know that we spoke briefly on Friday or Thursday, one of those days, I don't recall. Um, I know that you're committed to finishing that 30 day checklist as well. Yes. Right. Yeah. So when you think about like the 30 day checklist, the things that he needs to do, like make that center of your focus. I love the follow up plan. You have to be clear. Think about this. Like, how does this thing impact revenue in my business? How does this impact my revenue? Right. Like, is this an in income producing activity? Is this something that can move my needle and be clear with that? Every single week, we should identify what's going to move our needle. That's why we called this session Move the Needle Monday. Let's go to Romel Taylor. Romel, what's going to move your needle this Monday, this week? Let's go. 
So I'm committed to doing five reels this week um, and make that a habit. Also, I am committed to following up with some of my past leads that I haven't talked to in a while that were on the fence uh, this past summer, but I'm still very active on Real Scout, checking out homes and actually going back in and um, reconnecting with them. Um, and then I need to really up my CMA game. Um, the listing that I have right now, we're probably going to jump into some conversation about price improvement. So I need to really be clear on what the market is doing and be able to communicate that to them clearly. Beautiful. Man, I love hearing that you're going to do five reels this week. I absolutely love that. And here's the thing, you guys, we've all been guilty of this at one time or another, that not effectively following up with our leads in our database. If you're not following up with them, someone else will. Someone else will. If you're not following up with your leads, someone's going to come along and be like, hey, what's going on? Hey, it's Patrick. Yeah. Hey, listen, I know that I met you at an open house a couple of weeks back. I'm just following up with you. I have a listing or I have some information about a new property. Do you want me to send it to you or do you want me to send it to your agent that wasn't there with you that day? Okay, cool. Perfect. I'll send it to you. I swear, someone's going to come along. If you don't follow up with your leads, someone else is going to follow up with them that is hungry, that is ready, that is willing. And I'm not saying that Patrick is any different than you guys. I just picked a name. But good stuff, Ramel. I absolutely love this. Let's go to Otis. Otis, what's one thing that you can do this week to move your needle? Let's hear from you. Hopefully you had a good workout. Oh, man, always. Uh, focusing on my relationships. You can be rich in relationships, and that can take you a long way. Um, and branding. I'm ending out the last 45 days with branding myself tough. You hit it on the needle. As many people see my face, it's just going to be easier on business. So the launch of the two shows, episodes coming out heavy every other week. I'm um, looking into some more uh, marketing as well as branding with um, billboards and a couple of other things. It's time to go hard in 24 or go home. So that's that's what I'm focusing on. Um, as well as still doing all my real estate needs, following up and everything. But I'm really focusing on branding with my relationships with artists, with builders, with every everything. I mean, Mojo in both of my worlds. So the more you see me, the easier it is for you to like me if you don't already know me. So it's kind of what I'm up to right now for the next 45 days. Man, I love it. I love it. See, you guys. When we talked about visibility, obviously, it's something that means the world to me as obviously I want to grow. I want to be on bigger stages. I want to contribute at a bigger level. I want to talk to more people. I want to share the gospel of our beautiful company, what we've been able to do, what you guys have been able to create, the strengths, the breakthroughs that you've had in these groups, my one on one coaching, like all these things like I, I want to talk about. So you guys. I'm, I'm trying to do the things that I would tell you guys to do right now. And I'm just going to let you guys in. All right. And I'll be totally transparent right now. So I'm trying to get on the Inman stage, right? I'm trying to get on the Inman stage. I think this would be powerful for our company, for my brand, for my own identity. And I just sent a follow-up email this morning at 714. So two hours ago. And right here, they've opened my email three times, right? And so when I'm asking you guys, when I'm telling you guys, when I'm I'm telling you guys to go for it and have visibility. I literally sent her clips of, vi of of speaking engagements that I've done. I sent her keep and move a group coaching so she could see you guys. She could see this flow. She could see this dynamic. And my hope is that even if it doesn't go through, it's okay. I'm, I'm at least fishing, I'm at least getting out there and asking for these opportunities, um, you know, to become even more relevant. So the things that I'm asking you guys to do, I'll do it on my on my end as well. It might look a little different, but I'm doing the same things that I would ask you guys to do the same things. So I'm not going to sleep on these things. If I'm going to ask you to do it, I'm not going to turn down the computer and be like, all right, there we go. That was a great session. Now, fuck that. Like I'm about that action and I will always take that action. And hopefully that me taking action says, you know what, if he can do it, I can do it. And why not me? Like Dominique said, so you guys wonderful session. I love our Monday sessions. I love starting it out. So just, just be clear. What do I need to do to move my needle this week and be absolutely clear on that? Let's do this. Let's get one or two takeaways really quick. Katie, Katie, rapid fire, because you are a woman with a lot of words. I love it. So, Katie, <laughs> let me hear uh, one takeaway from our, our sesh today. Well, first of all, you're going to be bigger than Tom Ferry, okay? So we're going to just start emailing Katie right now. I got that email address, and I'm going to be, like, instead of her, some video messages, that's where it begins. So Thanks, be like, guys. Hey, I appreciate Katie, that. You got to check this one out, you know? Like, yeah. So I appreciate it. You know, the, the video, the video part, right? So there's a backstory and it's not so simple. It's not just so clear cut. It's not the fear of putting it out there. What if I'm wrong? It, it's deeper. So it's like whenever I, when I'm started posting a video, I did two days ago, it was a uh, reel 
So maybe you didn't see it, but I did. And I got to tell you, for me to do that is overcoming. And that's the first step. So I know that each day, five days a week, I need to post something with my face. It doesn't matter what it is. Just bring, literally get, get the iron, put it in the fire and braid it into their brain, my face. So when they sleep at night, they see my face. They wake up, Beautiful. they see my face. I love it. Well, I, I love it. it. Like this. <laughs> hey, listen, that's, I mean, obviously we, we have a responsibility to own that. I talk about your guys' fame all the time. You, you have a responsibility and, and, and it's, it's not hard as long as it's consistent, but it's really, really challenging to grow. If you're inconsistent, it is really, really challenging to grow. And, 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 and the likelihood of that happening is, is, diminished and diminished and diminished and then other people that are more visible have a heightened visibility are going to win are going to win so you guys it's officially one more, one more thing i'm so sorry and that is up until this point i haven't had anyone to show me which way to go with it and so i just want to tell you thank you sorry All right, thank you for being open to direction and just being coachable and and you guys katie's not on our team she's with another brokerage um, she has tons of personality. People told her that the things that she were doing, what she, she was doing were not the right way. And I completely disagreed with that. And so Katie, I think that you'll start to see a rhythm and a pattern start coming to these groups all the time. You're welcome as a guest, Ashley, let's close out rapid fire. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. All right. All the things that we talked about remind me of two quotes I have on my desk. The first one says, I will be successful because I'm willing to fail more than most people are willing to even try. And the second one is a plaque my husband got me that says, we rise by lifting others. And I look at it every day just to keep my mind right and walk in my purpose. Wow. I think that's worthy of you creating a video of those two things that I'm just saying. But you guys have an amazing, amazing week. Be clear. Be clear on what you guys need to do to move your needle and how this will impact revenue. As always, you guys, keep it moving towards your dreams, goals, and vision and have an amazing, amazing day. Peace.